How do I get better acoustics in a small room? Getting the best sound out of a small room can be a tricky endeavor. Acoustically treating a small room requires the same testing and attention to detail that a larger studio does, but in a small room we're limited into how much treatment we can physically fit into the room, and by how much time sound waves have to develop. As we've covered in other videos, just like in a large studio, you'll want to focus treatment in all the familiar areas, first reflections, corners, and in the back and front wall. Why do small rooms suffer from bad acoustics? We almost always refer to sound waves by their frequency, or the number of full cycles per second the wave completes, but that frequency is always going to correlate to a wavelength, which is just the measurement of the physical length of a completed cycle. If we play a sound within a room that has the same dimensions as the wavelength of that sound, then the sound will reflect and overlap itself, causing phase interference. The wavelengths that correspond to your room's dimensions are called the room modes. We have a whole video on the subject if you'd like to learn more, but the important thing to take away is that the smaller the room is, the shorter the wavelength is for the room modes. In a large enough room, the room modes are below the audible range, but as we shrink the room, those room modes are pushed into the audible range and start to become a problem. To make matters worse, sound waves that are too large to complete a full cycle within the room start to create areas of low and high pressure that will throw off your bass response. In order to treat these issues in the bass, we need thick absorbers to soak up the reflections causing the modal issues. In a small room, we're already pressed for space, so actually fitting enough thick bass traps in the room becomes a challenge. Where do you put acoustics in a small room? In a small room, it's even more imperative that you find the best listening position and speaker placement for your room. The frequency response can change drastically based off of small changes to where you place your speakers and workstation, so make sure you experiment and test with a variety of layouts. In a small room, you'll probably get the best results with your speakers close to the front wall and your listening position about roughly one-third of the way from that wall. We want to make sure that our listening position isn't at the null in the center of the room and that our speakers aren't in a location that creates a lot of SBIR issues. If you want to learn more about SBIR, check out our video that we made on speaker placement. You always want to treat your first reflections, but in a small room, the delay time between the direct sound and the reflected sound is shorter. So the reflected sound is arriving at the listening position with more energy and close enough to the original sound to cause more phase interference and comb filtering. With a lack of space for treatment, you'll want to utilize ceiling space, especially by treating the first reflections on your ceiling. Treating the horizontal corners that outline the floor and ceiling can also help mitigate bass issues. Because small rooms need all of the available space to correct for bass issues, using dedicated diffusers or high frequency absorption ends up being a waste of space. Always focus bass trapping in a small room and only add diffusion if it's part of a combination absorber diffuser like our Alpha and Impression series or after you've gotten the bass response to where you want it. Keep in mind, diffusers need a certain amount of space to work effectively, so depending on the type of diffuser, it may not be practical to use in a small room to begin with. How do I get good acoustics in my small room? Treating a small room so that it's balanced for professional audio production is never easy. You need to measure, test, and experiment to determine where in the room you should focus your treatment. But you'll start to see improvements as soon as you place your first few bass traps. If you'd like a detailed breakdown for how to treat your room, fill out our free acoustic advice form and one of our designers will fill you in with tailored advice specific to your room. Get free acoustic advice. Visit GIKAcoustics.com for educational articles and tutorials.